Hi guys, welcome back. So, uh, in this tutorial, I would like to explain the use of the uh, password cracking tool based on my previous video. So, the name of the tool is this Hashcat. Uh, they claim to have this world fastest password cracker. They also claim to uh, be the first and only in kernel rule engine. Okay, now, uh, Hashcat is the advanced password recovery tool. Yeah, and uh, it allows you to also uh, take advantage of the GPU, uh, like AMD GPU, uh, Intel GPU, and NVIDIA GPU to speed up the process of uh, cracking the password and don't forget that this pass this uh, password cracking tool is an offline password cracking tool which means that you will need to grab some hashes and try to crack it or try to crack them okay okay so let's uh, look at the y key right click open and the y key actually explains a lot of things yeah so i've tested several things here with my uh, hashcat so let's just open Kali and I have a hashcat installed maximize the window just type hashcat dash h and you can see a very very long uh, information or documentation about this yeah okay so let's try something so let's say I have some hashes that, that I want to crack so just type uh, cats um, we just use the md5.hash yeah so these are the hashes that I want to crack and then I also have the dictionary so I will be using dictionary tracking uh, password tracking rather than brute force so I'll just uh, ls uh, word list so I put uh, the, the file inside this uh, word list folder called hash killer. If you look at the size, it's quite big. That's gigabyte, yeah. And uh, so let's try to crack this by utilizing the hash killer dictionary. Okay? Now, just type hash cat then you also need to specify the a this is the attack mode zero means that you want to use the uh, straight uh, straight attack mode or dictionary this is actually a dictionary so this specify that we want to use the dictionary attack and the m here dash m specifies the hash type which is md5 because i have md5 uh, so you will need to know what type of hash or hashes you have it's a bit tough to actually guess, but you can you can of course uh, consult the uh, uh, internet to um, uh, find uh, what type of hash or hashes you have, and then you can uh, redirect the output to a, a, a file called hashcat output, and this is my um, MD5 hash, and I'm uh, utilizing the word list, so I just put word list hash killer okay so again um, a is the attack type which is actually uh, straight or dictionary and m here m0 is to define the uh, or to specify that the hash that you're about to crack is md5 uh, of course you can look at the uh, uh, the uh, hash killers um, I mean the hashcat uh, help if you go up see this one the M here defines or specifies the hash type that you want to attack like for example M1000 means that you're actually cracking um, let me see 1000 is if I'm not mistaken NTLM so mtlm let's see so hmm where is it t 
HTML. Yeah, here. This is the one. Okay. All right. So and um, you can also change the attack mode. Uh, so let's have a look at the attack mode here. Scroll down. Very long list. Okay, so let's see. Um, yeah, we've got the attack mode. Let's say uh, word list is dash A0. Word list plus rule. We can also use the A0. A3 is brute force. And combinator is this one. Yeah, A1, uh, let's say, uh, yeah. So A is straight, which is actually dictionary. One is combination, perhaps a uh, brute force. I'm not very sure on this one. I've never tried this. One is combination. You can also use brute, brute force. Uh, so combination might be combination of the um, uh, straight uh, dictionary attack and uh, brute force. You can also use hybrid with this and mask and hybrid mask with, with this. Okay. So let's try the uh, the uh, this command. Yeah. And notice that it will automatically, uh, you know, cache the uh, word list Haskiller. Now, uh, you don't see the uh, the process in this screen, except if you specify some commands. But anyway, we'll just use the uh, default command. So just press S continuously to see uh, how the um, Hashcat uh, is trying to crack. So keep on pressing the S for the status or just leave it like that. Yeah. Okay. So now when you're doing this, you can also um, open up the uh, other window. So I normally use the command hash cat. Then you can specify the dash dash show. Ah, it's uh, still uh, running, so uh, I don't think we can see this one. Yeah, so you have to wait for a while. Maybe exit the command. Yeah, I mean exit the uh, uh, the uh, tool to uh, just uh, stop the process. Yeah. Now, so just wait for a while. Maybe you have to wait uh, for certain times, like. Uh, an hour, two hours, or even just sometimes we just leave the uh, machine running to crack the password. Yeah, especially if you use like a GPU, NVIDIA GPU, GeForce, or something like that, you can take advantage of the uh, GPU. Yeah. So for the purpose of the demo, let's just select checkpoint C, and you can check cats uh, hash cat dot uh or output see if we have something yeah and every time you um you uh, actually um run the cracking every single password being cracked will be stored in a specific location called hashcat uh, pot yeah the pot file so to see that you can just cat and then uh hashcat hashcat What's the name of the file? Uh, so you can just uh, that's hashcat. Mm. Let me see. The location of the file is somewhere in. So let's see the hashcat. Oh, dot hashcat. Okay, and you can see the uh, cat uh, hashcat dot file stores the information about yeah so exactly the same because you haven't really cracked everything so whatever you have in uh, hashcat output will be the same as what you have in hashcat profile so uh, cd the dot yeah you can just cat dot dot hashcat uh, hashcat Pot file. Yeah, so this is how you cat that one. Yeah. And again, if you compare, 
this is the one you have and cat hash cat cat underscore output file you will see the same but when you uh, run another tracking uh, a process it will automatically save the uh, uh, additional uh, crack password in this particular uh, hash cat profile okay so let's run again Okay. Now the good thing with this uh, hashcat pop file is that you don't have to repeat cracking uh, the hash or hashes that have been cracked or previously cracked, right? So the output only the output file uh, that I specified here will only show the latest crack file, but uh, you know hashcat will store all of the uh, you know successfully cracked uh, hashes in the pot file yeah so you don't have to repeat the uh, you no know, cracking the same hash every time you started the uh, hash cat right so just press s yeah see if we got if we got something else yeah yeah and then let's just press checkpoint and see cat has put output we got something like this and the profile yeah so haven't uh, added anything yet so let's say we try to uh, crack other hash types or hash type like for example i'll be using the same command but i'll use the uh, m mtlm hash that i have so before that let me just cat mtlm so this is a different hash that i found somewhere and uh, the way you crack it is almost the same you just need to change the uh, md5 the file name to ntlm then because it's ntlm so the type of hash you need to change by using dash m1000 and use the same word this or maybe if you want to use different yeah i created my pass list yeah something like this so this is optional so you can actually create your own my pass dictionary and this is your NTLM hash. You still have the same uh, hashcat output. It will, uh, I think, it will overwrite. So if you don't want to overwrite, you just put like, um, maybe um, hashcat NTLM output. Yeah, and press enter. Yeah, and we can just type cat. Uh, hashcat ntlm output you got this one right and then if you want to see all of the password being cracked you can just open up the hash file or you know, of course you can use this command to look at the pod file yeah so it will combine the previously cracked uh, md5 hashes with the ntlm hashes okay now the the way to uh, to see or the way to uh, check whether what how many how many hashes have been cracked is by launching with almost the same command you just need to specify the for example here just like uh, you don't really need to use this yeah so you just need to put like okay mm, dash dash show and there's another one md5 hash and then you can of course put the word list uh, hash killer see all right so this is the uh, process of showing the list of uh, ntlm hashes being uh, being uh, cracked and this is the process of showing the md5 hashes that have been cracked and of course, if you want to see complete uh, list of uh, the uh, what do you call this? The uh, let's let's try to uh, remove the show the hash. See if we can get anything. No, I think we need to specify uh, the hash. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. So another way of checking the complete list of hashes is to 
just cat has file yeah the cop file yeah but the problem here is uh, you do not we will not know which particular hashes are these and which particular hashes are these yeah so the easiest way is actually to run this as a separate um you know uh what do you call this command to show different type of hashes yeah see it's a lot easier yeah and of course if you want to delete the uh, the pot file you can just uh, delete by typing rm then the location of the profile file yeah hashcat uh, hashcat dot pot file yeah so this is how you remove but okay so um short uh, a short video about how to use the hashcat and don't forget again don't forget that hashcat is an offline uh, password uh, recovery tool is not meant to be for uh, you know the online cracking not like Hydra or Ncrack or Medusa okay so I hope that uh, this uh, video or this tutorial will help you in doing your ethical hacking and uh, penetration testing specifically related to the uh, password cracking uh, task or password cracking uh, activities okay so thank you for your kind attention and see you next time in my next video all right bye bye